I just saw Shanti. She said you told her and Scotty to make themselves scared. Try and tell me you don't want to. I don't. Not like this. What are you doing here? How do you know where I live? You want a romance and surprises. I'm trying to give you what you want. Don't answer it. It's Scotty. Then definitely don't answer it. He must know that you haven't gone to your class. Why else would he be ringing? Well, let it ring. I'll sort it. His next call could be to your probation officer. Don't. I can't be. I've waited long enough. We both have. Scotty, hi. Tracy, Ty's probation officer called. He hasn't shown up to his literacy class. And Tell I... her it's okay. He's with me. Where? On the road. I was driving him to class, but the car conked out. Uh, sorry, we should have called, but we're trying to fix it. Ty should have called. He knows the score. It only takes one slip-up and he's back in court. Well, no one wants that. It's too late for the class now, so he's just going to catch a bus home while I sort the car. OK. Thanks, Tracy. Bye. Come on, let's get inside. No, you are going home right now. A bus took an age to come. That's all I have to say. No. No more life. Jeez, I try to give you what you want. And you flick me off just like that. And I'm sorry, I know that you're trying to please me. And it's pleasing that you want, I know. Not you... when it means breaking the law. So I, I break my curfew just a little. I'll get a slap on the wrist and it'll be worth it. No, go home. Straight home. There's nothing you can say. So the plans for your big day coming on? Small day. We don't want anything flashy. I'm not a registry office, is it? Wash your mouth out. Tell me you're not. Uh, no, we're not. We're actually having it in these lovely gardens. But it will just be me and Morgan and the Celebrant, of course. So, before you start going all, oh, this is the most important day of your life, rah, rah, there are reasons why we're going small. And cheap. We'll have a big celebration later. Right. But right now, it is most important that we get hitched quickly and efficiently so that if the Watsons take us to court, there will be happily married couple, solid as. Oh, you poor thing. Guys just have no idea. Not even Gerald. Now, there are ways of making it special without breaking the bank. Uh, well, we have this all organised exactly the way we want it. Don't we, Morgan? Yes. OK. But you'll need witnesses. Oh, yes. Uh, I have Karen and Morgan still deciding. Well, traditionally, you ask your best friend. I know. I, I, I just haven't got round to it yet. You're going to ask Hunter? No, no, of course not. That would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Here you go. Now, I know one thing I could organise for yeah, you. Yes, that's just like you, Libby. There's a wedding and sniffing this, isn't your hijacking? Uh, oh, so bitter. I will be doing no hijacking, but I would love to organise your bridal shower. My what? Your hen's party. Uh, no, well, again, given Morgan's delicate condition, I really don't I'll put think... put a sock in it or I'll call the wedding off. <laughs> Um, just stop fussing. I'd love for you to organise a hen's night. Thank you. Oh, I'll make sure you have the best time. It'll be a lovely farewell to your life as a single girl and hello to your life as Mrs Tippett. <laughs> the tutor should have called you, not Megan. Why? He must have known he'd get Ty in trouble. So he's a dirty narc? No, but there's an explanation as if to If what... he'd rung and explained, it would have saved us all this bother. Except he chose not to, and I know why. Hi, you made it. Yeah. How's Tracy's car? Stuffed. So where is it now? The garage. Is she still coming over? No. But you were going to cook dinner. I'll, I'll do it. Will you still have some? No. Hoi. Thanks, but no thanks. He had such big plans for tonight. Now look. It's his own fault. What, that Tracy's car broke down? He didn't call and tell anyone because he was trying to cheat the system. What? He should have either been here or at class, but he thought he'd use this breakdown to play away, have some non-parole fun with his girl. But then I called, Tracy put her foot down, they argued and she sent him home. Even if that's true... I bet on it. Ty and Tracy had a date tonight. He was really looking forward to it. She didn't have to cancel completely. <sighs> she wants him on the straight and narrow. Good on her. He's so upset then he'll think twice about breaking curfew next time, won't he? 
forget cooking. We'll eat out like we planned. Come on. You're good there, Mr. Evans? Thank you. We'll have you home in about ten. You'd be into music, eh? Yeah. I'm working security on this big gig in the park. Friday week. You should check it out. I won't be into anything Friday week. An exam, eh? Morgan's getting hitched. And you're in pain. She was the Morgan she used to be. As soon as she got pregnant, hello, crazy woman. It'll do that to them. Easier to live with when it's your kid. Yeah, but, uh... What? I just hate seeing her with him. You know, I just want to punch him out, hurt him so bad. It's disgusting, eh? That's love, mate. Yeah, and I let it go. Hi, Scots. Hope you did some today or homework to make up for missing your class. Sure I do. How's the car? Find out what's wrong? I managed to get it going, actually. I said it was at a garage. It is. I didn't want to risk it conking out again, so I'm having it checked out. I wasn't very happy when he got home. Yeah, the night didn't really go as he planned. Not just him. I thought you wanted it as well. Uh, I was being rash. Why do you say that? Did you have a fight? Scotty thinks you must have about Ty's curfew. I just realised we're not on the same page about a few things, so I'm putting the brakes on a bit. Are you going to dump him? Shanti. Well, I'm sorry, but it's like I said yesterday. He's been feeling so happy that you're even interested in him if he thinks that you're not. He could react badly. Well, there's a little voice in here saying exactly the same thing, which is why I'm taking it day by day and so far resisting the overwhelming urge to jump his parts. Okay? Yeah, of course. Sorry. Right, to-do lists and venue options. Now, I've got several, but my favourite is a toughest part. I thought the IV. Oh, but this is a private room. Afternoon all. What are you doing here? Oh, just had to see Gerald, so please don't let me interrupt you. Oh, one size fits all, eh? You lifted this straight out of your wedding scrapbook. Still living in hope, are we? What were you doing going through my scrapbook? Just trying to get advance warning on how much the extravaganza was going to cost me. The cost I'm very grateful to have now been spared. Oh, it's nothing to what I've been spared. And there's nothing wrong with my plan, considering the little time I have to organise it. What if it's too much trouble, Lily? No, absolutely no, not. No, no, no trouble at all. As long as you don't mind organising the life out of it. Which, Sunshine, I hereby promise not to do. What? Well, I'm putting on a stag nut for you. Ugh, as if Gerald wants some drunken, yobbo, sleazy stripper fest. Yes, that's just like you, Libby. I have an idea and you shoot it down. Case in point, my application for the catering contract for the cafeteria. Guys. What? I really don't think this has much to do with Morgan and I now, does it? No, sorry, mate. But hey, listen, I promise you're going to have a fantastic stag night, because unlike somebody I can mention, I'll be thinking of you and not myself when I organise it. Excuse me, I will be thinking only of Morgan. And if you butt out, then I'll tell her what I've got planned for her very special evening. So just buzz off. Any probs at all, you get on the blower to your dad's doctor, OK? Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks for your help, mate. Like you needed me. My first day is a real Lambo. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Trainee Ambo. Yeah, 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 but, you know, this playing taxi, there's nothing to learn from, and I need some real action to take my mind off Gerald the Debius. Get him. Hey! Oh, he's taking advantage. Morgan needs someone to look after or support her, so he shoots his hand up. He'd have no chance if she wasn't knocked up. Shut it, will you? You walked away from Morgan because it all got a bit hard. Because you like it easy. And, man, how easy is your life? Living at home, all the bills paid, all the food you want, only yourself to look after. Stuff Morgan and her babies, someone else offers to look after them, and all you can do is whine. Sorry. you got no idea how tough it is for most of us. How tough is it for you? Oh, let me count the ways. <sighs> no chance. Talking about it fixes nothing. Shut up or put up. A27. A27 here. Flat 23, 62 Joyner Road. Chest pain. We're on our way. Hey. Hi. All over your grump man, are you? 
Not to say that I wasn't gutted that you sent me packing, but you are going to make up for it, right? I'll try. The sabe. I got it off. Small problem, I don't. But you can jack it up, no sweet. Oh, doubt it. Come on, the brown shanty are going to be working. We'll have the place to ourselves. It's not like I'm going to be breaking any rules, will I? Well, it's a nice idea, but it's Nice too... is not what it's going to be. Promise. And you can't go turning me down again. I'll see what I can do. Look at Except I'm not sure I can wait there long. Behave. Okay. I need to get through my door. Ladies, Sarah, how goes the research? Good, thanks. Not too dry after the hurly-burly of ED? No, 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 I'm, I'm really loving it. Excellent. Well, I'll look forward to a progress report somewhere down the track. <laughs> Thank you. He'll be lucky. Sorry? At the rate I'm going, I won't have much to show him. Because you're too busy helping me out. Sorry. No, no, that I really do love. You can always ask me. If you're sure, very. But we just need to keep it to ourselves. Sure. Thanks. Brooke, I'm organising a bridal shower for Morgan tonight at the Ivy, 7.30. See you there? Uh, I don't think so. Not really my scene. Oh, don't worry. It won't be a vulgar affair. Oh, what's this? It's the hen's party tonight. Will there be lots of silly games? Uh, there'll be lots of fun games, yes. Cool, count me in. Oh, um, no, hang on. Do I know the bride-to-be? <laughs> of course, it's Morgan. Oh, um... I won't be coming. Why? Because she's stealing another woman's babies. It's wrong. I think so too. Sorry. What do you want? Ambulance service, sir. Yeah? Uh, you called us? I'm okay now. Go away. You don't... Over to you. No way. Deal with it. Nice and calm should do the trick. Go on. We only want to help, sir. Uh, my uh... partner here is a very experienced ambulance officer, and if you just open the door and... Let him check you out, make sure you're okay. No, clear off! We don't really want to do that if you're not well. You must have been worried if you called us. Please, sir, just give us a couple of minutes. The only person I'm living in here is Dr. Freeman from Shortland Street Hospital. Get her here or go away. It seems we have a problem. Do we? Yes, uh, you haven't renewed Adrian's locum contract. Well, I had to admit to myself that he wasn't going to work out. Well, we can't have you running the show by yourself. I'd better haul TK out of ED and give him back to you. It'd be a shame to do that. And if you check the throughput figures, you'll see they've remained steady since Adrian left. True. I don't know how you did it. Well, I'm pleased now that I managed to mix in some management and admin papers with my medical degree. It's a mean, lean machine down there. Hmm. Just as long as uh, patient care isn't being compromised. <sighs> All right. I just need to take this. Brook Freeman speaking. Yeah, far along we're here. Ambulance service. We're outside Barry Knox's flat. Yes. He called us because he was having heart palpitations. Mr Knox is a patient of yours? He did come and see me over a week ago. What's up? I only caught a glimpse of him, but enough to see he's in a bad way. He's definitely paranoid. He won't let us in. How can I help? He's asked to see you. That's probably not possible, but if you... Could give us the lowdown to pass him to the crisis team, that'll be good. I can come and see him, actually. He might need sectioning. Oh, it's okay. The crisis team are able to deal with him. But I'm free, so you can cancel them. I'm not at my computer right now, so if you could just give me the address, I'll come straight away. If you're sure. Very sure. His address, please. Flat 23, 62, Joiner Road. I know it. I'll see you just as soon as I can. A house call, eh? Poor old Barry. He called the Ambos, and now he's too scared to let them in. But he will see me. Ah. And to think there was a time I was worried about your rapport with patients, Brooke. <laughs> I won't keep you. Thanks, Callum. 
Thank you. You are a lifesaver. I'm too broke to say no. <laughs> Sorry, I was just about to call you. Oh, it's okay. I got that you can't make it. Did you even bother to find someone to cover you? Of course. It's just taking me this... Yeah, sure. Why can't you just be straight up with me and tell me to forget it? I've had it with you mucking me about. Okay. I won't come round then. Eh? Hey? It's taken me this long to find someone. Why did I bother? I'm sorry, babe. It's just I've been waiting and waiting. I made my mind up that you weren't going to come. I don't think I want to now. You have to. Please, babe. Babe. Okay. I'll be there in 20 minutes. about the Paul Goods bridal shower? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Good, fun time guaranteed. Help me out, Morgan is a baby-stealing liar. Ah, oh, that is none of our business. She's carrying Trent and Cindy's babies. How can I forget that? Because we're not celebrating that, but we're celebrating her marriage to Gerald, and you're going to be there. No, I'll be looking after JJ. Well, no, because I've already booked a babysitter. Tanya, Mrs. Foster's care plan, there are omissions. Please complete. Sure. I was um, halfway through when I got called away. And you forgot to return to it before your break? No, I knew we could wait until I came back. But you don't know what could have happened. You left the nurses on duty half-informed. I can't win with you, can I? I'm just so lucky the other doctors don't share your low opinion of me. I don't have low opinion of her. Those two are never going to get on, are they? Oh, Tanya is getting more intolerant by the day. She needs to watch herself. Or she'll be on a warning. Gabrielle is a little difficult, though. She has tried very hard to explain her, um... Disorder. ...the difference, some might call it. Maybe Tanya would be more understanding if her and Gabrielle had the chance to, you know, get to know each other outside of work. You could never get them in the same room. Oh, well, I bet I can. How much? Nothing, just... It would be good to improve staff relations. It's a big ask. There has to be some reward in it if you manage it. <laughs> Well, managing it will be reward enough. Time for a break? No, not right now. I am up to a good bit. Ooh, finally getting into this research. I've always been into it. It just took me a little while to get... Um, sorry, can I have a quick word? You talk in front of me, can't you? Unless you've got something to hide. I finally managed to locate Barry Knox. I'd like to go over there, check that he's okay. Could you do me a huge favour and mind the shop? Sure. Why can't you call him? Because he's a psych but you don't need to explain. You go for it. Thank you. You said the next time she asked for help... I wouldn't keep it a secret. I'm not. You heard everything. You should have said no to her. How could I? Barry is a psych patient who could well be experiencing serotonin toxicity. Now, if you're so worried about her dumping on me, then you're on a break. Why didn't you volunteer to cover the PCC? That's right. Off you go, because I already know the answer. You wouldn't dream of helping Brooke out, not when all you really want to do is see her go down in flames. No, I don't like hen's nights. I'd prefer to call it a bridal shower. Everyone gets drunk and they wear those t-shirts. No, it's not going to be like that. Morgan's pregnant, so it'll be inappropriate. <laughs> and there is always a male stripper. Oh, there definitely won't be a male stripper. Oh. Oh, do you like male strippers? Oh, if they're... Physical attractiveness is natural and not down to steroids, but no stripper and Morgan is a nurse, so thanks, but no thanks. Didn't know you were such a snob. <laughs> well, doctors and nurses don't socialise. I don't understand why, but it is a general rule, so there must be some wisdom in it. That may have been so at other places you've worked, but it's not like that at Shorten Street. Oh? No, Morgan's a much admired nurse, so there'll be other doctors there too. So if I don't go, Morgan will think, I don't think she's a good nurse. I just know that she'll be thrilled to have you there. But no male stripper? Not part of the plan at the moment. Never mind. He'd probably be a disappointment anyway. OK, I will come. Come on, Barry. Talk to me. Tell me how you're feeling. Big fat waste of our time. I still think we should break the door down. Hallelujah! Hunter? Yeah, I used to be a volunteer, now I'm a trainee because I'm studying. Yeah, sorry. How is he? I still only got that one little look at him. He's having hallucinations, I'd say. So he's got psych problems. Any other history? 
It's possibly a serotonin syndrome. Hey? It can happen when fluoxetine is prescribed on top of tricyclic antidepressants. He must have seen another doctor who didn't follow him up. You're having to clean up after some cowboy. Not on. Well, what happens when he doesn't get treated? I don't have time for a tutorial on psych medicine. Barry? It's Brooke Freeman. Please let me in. I wouldn't go on on your own. I thought he made it clear he didn't want you in there. I know him well enough. I'll be fine. Barry, open the door. Hey. More flowers. You're spoiling me. We don't have to. There's no rush. Uh, wanting to, of course I am. Because you're amazing and incredible. <laughs> because I love you. No, you can't say that. Yeah, sure I can. It's true. I'm staying on track and I'm never going back inside. You're the reason why, babe. No, you can't put all of this on me. That's not fair. You're getting so far ahead of yourself. I'm calling this off right now. Hey, I don't get... I'm not going to be responsible for keeping you out of prison, okay? So just forget it. I try to do the right thing, say the right thing. It's because I'm trashy. Eh? I'll always be trash. No, I... I'm sorry. Barry, I really want to help you, but I have other patients who need me. So, and if you have to tell them to back off. You heard him? No, I'm calling the cops. No, you are not. Just stay back. Those pills you gave me, they're poisoning me, they're killing me, it's your fault! 